Hello and welcome back to my channel. When I do beauty videos, it is not very often, and I only come on here when I have some really good hacks, secrets, gadgets. I've been saving these up and they're good. Game changing, life changing. Buckle in guys, it's gonna be good. It is very rare that I come across a beauty product that is so crazy that it stops me in my tracks and I immediately like add to cart, I need to try this and see if it actually works. And that is what happened when I came across these. These are eyebrow tattoos. And I know when you hear this, cause this is what I thought, I'm like, Absolutely not. That is ridiculous. There is no way that works. There is no way that looks good. I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you. When I put these on, it looks exactly how my eyebrows looked right after I got them microbladed. And you just apply them like you would apply a temporary tattoo. And at first it looks really shiny and not realistic. Let it dry and then put a little bit of translucent powder on top. In my case, cause I do have some natural eyebrow hair. They don't lay completely flat as if they would if I had nothing there. It is several hours later, my brows have finally set and you can see they are no longer shiny, but I did just set them with a little bit of translucent powder and it takes like 30 minutes for them to fully dry down. Who would need something like this? If you have very sparse brow hair, maybe from over tweezing, if you are someone who has lost your eyebrows due to a medical condition, if you are doing chemotherapy, or if you just want to experiment with different brow shapes and see what looks good on you, they're designed to last from three to five days and they are waterproof. So incredibly cool. This product that I have been dying to talk to you guys about saves me not only a whole bunch of money, but a lot of time because I absolutely hate going to the nail salon. I hate making small talk. I hate having my hands unavailable for a whole hour. My back is uncomfortable, not to mention the time and the cost. I found the one and only nail polish I have ever, ever tried in my life that does not chip on me. Like these nails right here, I have had this on for nine days. I will show you a close up and it's regular nail polish. It is the Essie Couture nail polish. So here is the process. You need to follow it just like this if you want it to last. You wanna start off by washing your hands with Dawn dish soap. And that's my first little hack. Dawn dish soap is a really powerful degreaser. So by washing your hands first, it will remove any of those natural oils from your nails. At first I was using a base coat, but then I read it's actually designed to be used without a base coat. So even easier. Go in three thin layers. And this is the second critical, most important tip. You have to seal the tips of your nails, which means after you paint the face of your nail, go along that free edge with the polish. When I do this, it makes a huge difference and it does last longer. And then the last step, but this is what makes it work, is their specific top coat. You must use this top coat with it. And the other huge bonus here, I just remove it with regular nail polish remover. It comes off so easily. That's another huge pet peeve of mine with gel nail acrylics. The removal process is such a pain. Oh, but wait, there's more. There's a gadget that I found that allows you to paint your nails better, specifically using your non-dominant hand. Because if you're like me and one hand looks professionally polished and the other hand looks like a seven-year-old did it, then you need to get this tool. I saw it in an Instagram ad and I'm like, okay, I'll try that. It's a universal size that goes on to the top of your polish and it gives you an enhanced grip and allows you to have a steadier hand using your non-dominant hand. And it makes such a difference. Like I thought, mm, this might be a gimmick. As long as I'm painting my own nails, I will use this. You can get it at Target. I'll link to it down below. This is literally all you need, these three things. And I just saved myself hundreds of dollars and countless hours wasted at the nail salon. Next, I'm going to share three tips that are going to make your teeth whitening strips two times more effective. I learned this from a dentist. So whatever teeth whitening strips that you like to use, whether it's the Crest White strips, I use these ones by Lumino because they're non-toxic and they don't burn my teeth. I have sensitive teeth. Step number one, you need to be applying your whitening strips to completely dry teeth. The drier your teeth, the more these are able to penetrate and activate onto your teeth. Now step two, you peel off the strip and you wanna pull it. And what that is going to do is it's going to activate the gel and make the gel more effective. And then trick number three here, get a toothpick and use that toothpick to press in the white strips 
all around your teeth. So they're fully covering each tooth. Sometimes with these white strips, it will bubble up or doesn't really get into the edges or the cracks in between your teeth. That's where your toothpick comes in. Now, speaking of whitening and brightening, a lot of people don't realize the impact having bright eyes has on how you look. If your eyes look red, you're just gonna look tired, sick, maybe even stoned. So I have been using these Lumify eye whitening drops every time before I'm taking pictures, before I come on camera, and my eyes are so red when I'm tired. So these brighten them right up, and I look bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Now let's chat a little bit about hair. I came across this product on TikTok, it went viral, and I had never heard of such a thing and it makes such a difference in terms of your hair being softer and shinier. It is this stuff. It is called Dream Filter Pre-Shampoo Mineral Remover. And it helps remove mineral deposits that have built up on your hair over time through the tap water. So you apply this to your completely dry hair and saturate it, let it sit for one to three minutes, and then shampoo and condition as normal. And when I tell you my hair is softer, it makes such a difference. It also helps brighten your hair color because those mineral deposits on your hair dull your hair and reduce the shine and that silky factor. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you will see that recently my acne came back with such a vengeance. Like it had not been that bad since I was pregnant with Carter and I had severe acne. Of course, I call my mom, she's an esthetician and she's like, I'm coming over and she brought me a few things and within a week, not even kidding you, my skin completely cleared up. The two superstar ingredients that you need to know, remember, mandelic acid and azelaic acid. Mandelic acid, why it's so special, is that it's a slow absorption molecule, so it's a lot more gentle on the skin. And then azelaic acid helps with the redness and the inflammation of the skin. The other thing that helps, not just with acne, but inflammation, just giving you that glow, is giving yourself an ice facial. Because you know I like a good gadget, they even make this specialty ice facial tool. It's like 10 bucks and allows you to make your own little ice wand that you rub on your face. Oh, that is nice. Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Gosh, I look good. I'm an icy fox. Look at this. I can't believe people thought I was a narcissist. It's ridiculous. We're back and let's talk about some tricks for my fellow oily gals out there. There is a technique I came across on TikTok from a makeup artist. It's called pinpoint powdering. And basically you take your setting powder. I like this one, Maybelline Fit Me. And instead of using a powder brush, what you do is you take a more dense flat top eyeshadow brush and you gently stamp that onto your face where your larger pores, texture, or primary oily areas are, so like your T-zone. And by doing it this way, it like fills in those open pores and just makes such a difference. I am shook, like my pores are filled in, I look so smooth and matte, and it's been hours later. So this tip is a must try, I'm blown away. This legitimately looks like I have a filter on my skin in real life. Another thing I always have in my bag is this oil roller. I mentioned this on my channel years ago. I still use it, I still love it. It is a piece of volcanic rock on a roller ball that absorbs your oil on your face. You just roll it on and it erases your oil. But what I love about this the most, it's compact and it's reusable. So this will last you for many months versus those oil blotting pads that you have to keep rebuying. Doesn't interfere with my makeup, doesn't make me look cakey. For those of you who have watched to this point in the video, I am going to do a giveaway. I'm giving away one of everything I talked about to one of you, this is international. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and share this video on Facebook. So those are my most game-changing beauty secrets that I have been following using lately that have really been amazing. So thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Say bye everyone. Bye. Bye everyone.